Teachers in Chatham were among thousands across the state to get their first round of ratings recently. Superintendent Mike Lasusa was generally pleased with the results, but he's not putting too much stock in them. I think it's really important for those of us uh, in the field to not draw immediate and firm conclusions from one set of data uh, because there are different human beings in every classroom every year. Annual evaluations are required under New Jersey's new teacher tenure law. They get rated on a scale of one to four. Four is a top score meaning highly effective, the lowest ineffective. Tenure can be revoked if a teacher receives a poor rating over two consecutive years. Asbury Park teacher Fabrice Quadrado told us by phone he received a good rating, but the process is unsettling. Many of us are feeling a little bit overwhelmed and nervous. We're being evaluated through a new formula which holds us accountable for our students' success and failures. And uh, I don't think test scores should be used to reflect on teaching methods and skills. Test scores are part of the criteria, but not the predominant factor used in evaluating teachers. New Jersey education officials say their goal is to put the best teachers in the classroom and provide support to teachers who need help. But teachers say that support hasn't come yet in Newark, which is under state control. They're saying that they're, it's already uh, mid-year and they haven't received the appropriate curriculum. They haven't received the appropriate resources, either in textbooks or uh, additional uh, manipulatives to assist with the, 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 the classroom instruction. Um, that, unfortunately, is chronic in this district. The NJEA supported the new teacher tenure law, but it's not certain about using test scores to grade teachers. While we support the consideration of student achievement data as part of that evaluation, we're really concerned about the use of the standardized test scores. The other components of it, of course, are the assessment of an observer that goes in to watch a teacher uh, while they're performing based on uh, some adopted framework that, that describes good teaching, and another measure called student growth objectives, which teachers are able to develop uh, along with their principal that sets goals for their students' learning. Teacher evaluations are confidential and won't be released to the public. This round was more of a practice session. Next year's evaluations will count for real. In Chatham, I'm Desiree Taylor, NJTV News.